Hello everybody and welcome back to the Snapdash channel. In today's video we've got some really exciting features to show what's been put into the Snapchat application. A lot of Bitmoji stuff, some brand new games and we're even going to introduce you to the Spectacles 3. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Snapchat channel. In today's video we've got some exciting news because all three Snapchat teams have put some brand new stuff into the application. We've got the Spectacles, we've got Bitmoji and even Snapchat themselves have put new features in for you to enjoy in this December period. Now my name is Carl Lightning and I hope you guys out in the Snapchat community make the most of the application and today's video is teaching about the new update and everything that comes with it. We're filming this video in December and it won't be December without those Christmas decorations. And there we have it, we've got a nice Christmassy theme this year to go with the New update that's got not many Christmassy stuff. This isn't a Christmas update, but I thought December it's that time of year where we have the special stuff. So we'll try and make an effort in the snap that snap this team. And today we are going to talk about the new updates and we're gonna start off with the spectacle. Now if you've never heard of the spectacles, these are Snapchat sunglasses that have cameras in that can film your day and your adventures of what's going on around you. It is a product originally made just for Snapchat, however you can share onto other social media platforms. The surprising thing about Snapchat is these were released in autumn slash the full time of year, which is uh, late on for sunglasses and it probably looks bizarre in this shot having Christmas decorations and sunglasses in it but these are the new Spectacles 3, they're pretty awesome, I have tested them out in the field and they are really good to play with. I'm going to tell you about some key points but as you can see they've got a nice awesome design. So these are the Spectacles 3, this is the carbon edition, they also come in a colour called Mineral which is more of a rosy gold colour uh, and these retail at £330 and what you get for this is basically a VR and an augmented reality experience. Now they also have the Spectacles 2 which are still in line, you can still purchase these and these are like a wearable action camera and I find these awesome because you can still do your water sports, however these ones aren't waterproof and they do have a different agenda. This is more to get your AR virtual reality. There are two cameras on this one in comparison to the one. Obviously I am going to do in-depth video on the channel just talking about what you should buy if you are looking into getting into spectacles because they are completely different products and I still like that Snapchat haven't knocked one out by bringing something new. Now what comes in the box of the Spectacles 3? You obviously get the glasses, you get this awesome carry case which this year's folds down slim enough to put in your back pocket, similar size to a smartphone and you also get a 3D viewer because it is a an augmented reality and a VR experience and the 3D viewer you come with it and you can relive your experiences and I was quite skeptical when I first saw the advertisement saying you could relive your your adventures that you've recorded with the spectacles but I'd actually say this is a pretty neat experience to a point where I think this is a really good selling point and you really do need to experience it because it does give you that depth of feel that they are really selling. So those are the Spectacles 3 and you can order these to enhance your Snapchat experience so you can share moments without even needing to get your phone out. We're going to put those away but one final thing that the Spectacles 3 do which is new is you can actually have these 3D disc prints and that's if you've taken a 3D photo, go into the application and you can send it off to be printed as a 3D image and it'll be sent to your door. I'm not sure what the shipping time is but of course you would have these awesome moments that you've taken on your Spectacles now physically in your hand. I'm yet to have these yet, I've not taken an awesome moment that I thought's worth printing but as soon as I do I'll make sure I have a video about that because I know that some people with the spectacles will want to know if it's worth buying or not. So keep your eyes peeled, I have done a full unboxing experience on my channel, you can check that out right now, but that is the end of the spectacles 3. The next part of the video I'd like to talk about today is called Cameos and this is a new Snapchat original that basically turns your face and puts it on a GIF which you can send as like an e-poster to your friends to tell a story. It's a bit like a Bitmoji sticker, but with your real face and animated. Here's some examples of my cameos, and you can do this yourself now inside the Snapchat application. As soon as you boot it up, go into your sticker section and you'll see there's a section for cameos. It's got a little dotted line to show you where your face would go. Tapping onto that, you take a selfie. Don't smile, it's not recommended. The smiling is done inside the cameos. And then once you've done that, you can enable to obviously send it to your friends but of course you can now send these cameos around and there's loads and they're really creative. Now one of the features I like about cameos is the fact that it implements text inside the cameos without needing to find presets that say hello or how are you. You sit pretty much just type in the chat window of a friend on Snapchat and you can just type a word and you'll see all the cameos reflected. So if you're asking someone to dinner, instead of just typing dinner like this, 
you can literally type dinner, go to the cameo section and you'll see all the cameos now say dinner in a very exciting way. And some of them might even have food related cameos because the Snapchat algorithm will pull stuff through as well. And I think that's pretty awesome that they are customised and they are not just presets that you're just going to send out and they'll be rinsed and repeat. These are personalised cameos with you in mind. Now just like Bitmoji you can have friend cameos where you and your friend are in it, however they do have to enable this when they set up their cameo picture because obviously these can be shared and exported around. So just make sure that you both have yours out and you'll be able to share around funny cameos with you and your friends. Moving on to the Bitmoji section, this probably needs an intro. But the Bitmoji team have got a fantastic new outfit into the Snapchat application or the Bitmoji app actually you can find this in their separated app and what they've done is now allow you to customize outfits these aren't just presets that they've designed and gone yep that looks pretty cool now you can pick from tops trousers shoes and you can even color these as well so it's fully customizable it's fantastic it's an experience that is going to change the Bitmoji app because no longer are you going to be wearing the same coat as your best friend does because the outfit looks cool you can fully customize this to look like you so if there's an outfit that you wear in the real world you're probably more likely going to be able to recreate it in the Bitmoji app and this is fantastic because again not only the face is going to look like your friends but now the outfits are going to look like some of the details that Bitmoji went to as well with this update is actually allowing you to untuck and tuck the t-shirts into the trousers or shorts which I think is a nice little detail to put into the application so you can have a scruffy person or a neat person with the same shirt. And the last thing that Bitmoji have done and made some fantastic addictive Snapchat games. So we've been talking about Snapchat games all through this year. Since March, Snapchat have been putting these new multiplayer games in, but Snapchat have put a new spin on the Snapchat games that have made high scores, and they are very addictive to fight against your friends. People that I don't usually play Snapchat games with have been playing these games just to try and beat my high scores, and that's just showing the new style of game is attractive to another market. Now the two Bitmoji games have been put into the Snapchat application. The first one is Find My Friends, and basically this is a puzzle, a bit like Where's Wally if you've ever heard of that, but instead of being Wally, it's your friends. And at the top of the screen you have a Bitmoji to find in loads of other Bitmojis and they get harder as you progress on. Now the highest score I've got to is in the 50s, but one of my friends has actually got 71, so well done on that score. And to a point where we're in the top thousand people in the Snapchat application to score such a high one with that one. And today, just filming this video, they released out something called Shaker Slider, I think I've got the name right there. And basically you slide milkshakes to your friends, a bit like Shuffleboard, and as long as you don't break the glass, you score points. So even if you call it short, it will pull back and you get another go, but as long as you don't knock it off the table or shoot off the end, you keep the game going. And with the shaker game, if you do knock it off, you get one more chance, you can watch an advertisement for five seconds and it will put you back into the game. So you can actually use that as a tactical life. Now don't forget to check the games out inside the Snapchat Rocket, which can be found in your group chats or your single chats with your friends. You just go to the bottom right, tap the rocket and you'll find the two new leaderboard games. These ones have a little trophy icon to show you that they are leaderboard games and not multiplayer. You've got Find My Friends and of course you've got Slide the Shaker, both Bitmoji games. They do implement your friends' Bitmojis, which I think is cool. It makes the experience a little bit more enjoyable. So thank you Bitmoji for making those games and bringing us some joy at this Christmas time of year. Another Snapchat game came out while I was editing this video and this one is called Ready, Set, Go and it is another Bitmoji themed game. However, this one is competitive as a head-to-head -head running a restaurant to serve the most customers. This one also can be found in the game section. One thing I did find out though, custom outfits didn't seem to pull through like they did on the other Bitmoji games. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching Snapchat today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We bring in the December update to you guys. Uh, thank you Snapchat for putting that in. It's been an eventful year. This is probably my last update video you're going to get on this Snap This channel. I plan to have two more videos out before Christmas Day, I assume. I don't know. I'm a bit busy at the moment, hence why the videos are a bit slow. Uh, but thank you very much Snapchat for putting the awesome features in like the Easter egg hunt. We've got the 3D photo modes, the grid, the spirit level. Uh, all the lenses as well, so thank you Lens Creators for putting those in and the Spectacles 3 with their augmented reality and even their special lenses. So it's been quite a hectic year for Snapchat and of course the Snapchat games as well, forgot to mention those. It's been brilliant, obviously you can check out the content on my channel that I've covered all the way through 2019 but this is a thank you to Snapchat, Bitmoji and Spectacles for working really hard to get some good content out there uh, for us to play around with 
physically and inside the Snapchat application. If you're cautiously new around here, my name is Carl Lightning, and if you want to subscribe to keep up to date with what Snapchat are doing, I make content on their community telling you what's happening, tips and tricks, anything you want to know, you'll usually find it on my channel. And of course, if you liked today's video, then leave us a like. Let us know in the comment section below what you thought about the new features. Is there anything that December has brought you inside your Snapchat application? Last thing to mention is also check your memories out. The 2019 review uh, memory will be in there now. So Snapchat put a little memory in your memories that you can check and it's built of all your memories from 2019, telling you when your best laughs were, what it was like on the beach. It is all driven by just memories. It will pull stuff through. Obviously the more memories you have, the better it's going to be. You can share it to your story, but anything inside your memories will then be shared to your friends. So go check that out, of course. It is available now. And obviously, please make sure your Snapchat is up to date for these features that I've talked about today. And they are available on Android and iOS as I know of. But thank you very much for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next video.